Hello, everyone. I'm Ray from Tsinghua University. My topic is computational human phantoms and micro nanoscale computational dosimetry. Before I start, I would like to show you the whole picture that we have developed for the radiation dosimetry studies with multi scale phantoms. There are totally three categories. In the first category, we have the whole body phantoms, which enabled us to calculate the effective dose. In the second category, we have the detailed organ models, which enabled us to not only to obtain the average organ dose, but also the dose distribution inside the organs. In the third category, we have the atomic DNA models, which enabled us to study the radiation damage to DNA. Firstly, I will talk about the development of the Chinese reference phantom library, including the whole body phantoms, organ models, and uh, the DNA model. And then I will talk about the multi-scale computational dosimetry. One new progress is the RBE calculation with multi-scale computational dosimetry. Our laboratory has developed the Chinese reference mathematical phantoms, reference voxel phantoms, and uh, mesh type adult phantoms. In addition, we developed the Chinese adult phantom library with different height and weight. In recent years, we developed the mesh type Chinese reference pediatric phantom series. For some radiosensitive organs, they have very complex structures. We have developed the detailed organ models uh, for these organs, including the detailed breast model, detailed eye model, detailed skeleton model, and detailed respiratory tract model. For the DNA model, in the past, the DNA volume model is widely used. We developed the atomic DNA model and it includes several orders of DNA structures. Now let's move to the multi-scale computational dosimetry. For the macro-scale computational dosimetry, we have applied the phantoms in external dosimetry. For example, we have calculated the dose conversion coefficients using the Chinese reference phantoms for the environmental radiation sources. We also used uh, the phantom library to perform the physical dosimetric reconstruction of accidental exposure from radiological source. Another application is in medical physics. We have calculated the dose conversion coefficients for CT scanning and also developed a software uh, for the dose estimation for CT and the different irradiation conditions. We also calculated the dose conversion coefficients for X-ray radiography with Chinese reference phantoms. These are the dose estimation for mammography with a detailed breast model. And this data will be adopted by the revised national standard. Now let's move to the microscale computational dosimetry. We study the radon progeny cost dose with the respiratory tract model. Here we found a very non-uniform energy distribution in respiratory tract. For example, the maximum voxel dose could be 30 times higher than the average dose. Another example of the microscale computational dosimetry is the study on the electron absorbed fractions with microscopic skeletal models. Here we calculated the electron absorbed fractions in red bone marrow and bone and stone. Now let's look at the nanoscale computational dosimetry. We developed a nanodosimetry biophysics Monte Carlo code, which is called NASIC. In this code, the whole interaction processes of radiation in organisms can be simulated. It includes the geometric module, physical module, pre-chemical module, 
chemical module, DNA damage module, and DNA repair module. In the physical module, the inelastic cross sections considering ionization and excitation are calculated using the dielectric function method. Totally six data sets were obtained based on the different optical data sets and uh, different dispersion models. In the pre-chemical module, the dissociation process and the summarization processes are simulated to calculate the primary yield and distribution of free radial species. In the chemical module, the Monte Carlo method was used to simulate the diffusion and reaction of free radial species. In the DNA damage module, the direct DNA strand break and indirect DNA strand break are considered, and the interaction between DNA and radicals is simulated to obtain the DNA damage distribution. With this NASI code, we were able to perform the study on the comparison of direct DNA strand breaks with different DNA models. And this is another study on the comparison of direct DNA strand breaks with different inelastic cross sections. We also studied the radiation sensitization effect of gold nanoparticles. The physical enhancement effect and biological enhancement effects were estimated by setting different distribution of gold nanoparticles and X-ray energy. The results show that there was a significant enhancement effect of energy distribution. The results show that there was a significant enhancement effect of energy deposition in the vicinity of gold nanoparticle. And if a stronger biological sensitization effect was required in the gold nanoparticle cell experiment, X-ray spectra should distribute more within the range of 20 to 60 keV. X-ray spectra should distribute more within the range of 20 to 60 keV. The total mass of gold nanoparticle entering the cell should be as much as possible, and the size of gold nanoparticle plays an important role in this process. Now let's move to RPE with multi-scale computational dosimetry. Compared to conventional photon-based external beam radiation, carbon ion radiotherapy has superior dose distribution, higher LET, and higher RBE. The study on RBE is very important for carbon ion radiotherapy. There are several biological effect models usually used in particle therapy. LQ model is a phenomenological model. It describes the relationship between physical dose and cell survival fraction in traditional photonic radiotherapy. And it is further applied on heavy ion therapy, but it can't explain the mechanism of radiation damage to cells. Microdosimetric kinetic model is based on dynamic process of radiation damage and repair, but the beta value is constant in MKM, which does not agree with the experimental results. Local effect model is based on the radio dose distribution of heavy ions and the nuclear geometry. The RBE calculated with LEM is inaccurate at some dose levels. The last model is cell survival model based on DNA double strand break and repair developed by our group, but it has not been fully verified. Actually, RBE can be calculated at macro, micro, and nano scales. We have not seen one study on comparison of three scale RBE models and the same irradiation condition. This study aims to calculate RBE using the dosimetric method at three 
different scales for the same case. The crank phantom is used. Particles flying through some voxels that representing different regions were recorded as the secondary particle source. Conduct such study would not only facilitate the RBE weighted dose analysis, but also improve the RBE model development. A key difficulty to conduct this study is the requirement of biological models from macro scale to nano scale. What's more, Monte Carlo simulation of particle transportation and interaction at different spatial scales is also necessary. In this study, RBE have been calculated using the dosimetry method at three different scales. For micro scale study, LETD is calculated with Gen4. LQ model is used for RBE calculation. For micro scale study, specific energy Z is calculated with Gen4. MKM is used for RBE calculation. For nanoscale study, double strand break yield is calculated with NASIC. Cell valve model based on DNA double strand break is used for RBE calculation. The calculation process and the physical quantities used are shown in this table. In order to calculate the macro scale RBE, LQ model is used. The dose and LETD of each voxel are obtained through jump for simulation. And then the function of alpha and beta on LETD is fitted with the cell experimental data. In order to calculate the microscale RBE, MKM is used. As has mentioned before, the particle information recorded in the phantom simulation is used as the secondary source. Microdosimetry simulation is performed to get microdosimetry spectra, and Z1D star is obtained based on the equation 1. Here, Z1D star represents saturation corrected dose mean specific energy of the domain delivered in a single event. And then we can calculate the micro scale RBE from Z1D star. For nanometer scale RBE calculation, the cell survival model based on DNA double strand break is used, and this model is shown in equation 1. The parameters alpha and beta are obtained by Taylor expansion of equation 1. As has mentioned before, the particle information recorded in the phantom simulation is used as the secondary source, and it is imported into NASIC. NASIC is a nanoscale biophysical Monte Carlo simulation program. With NASIC simulation, DSB yield is obtained, and the alpha and beta of carbon ion could be calculated with the model parameters fitted according to the cell experimental data. And then RBE at nanoscale can be calculated directly. Now let's look at the results. First, Let's look at the alpha and beta values at different depths obtained with the dosimetry methods of the three scales. The alpha values of three scales are close from the plateau to peak region, while there is a large discrepancy of beta value for the three scale methods. For micro scale study, the beta value is constant for MKM while the beta values for macro and nanoscale methods vary with the depth, which agree better with the cell experimental results. Therefore, a future direction of RBE model development would be accurate beta value calculation, which is more important in high dose level, while the beta term plays a more important role in RBE estimation. 
based on the calculated alpha and beta values, the RBE depth curves using the three scale methods as shown in this figure. Under a common condition with endpoint of HSG cell survival and cell survival fraction equals 0.1, the macro scale RBE is higher than micro scale RBE and lower than nano scale RBE in plateau region. In peak region, the macro scale RBE is close to the micro scale RBE and both are lower than nanoscale RBE. Since the three RBE calculation methods are applied or promising to be applied in clinic, this result would provide some reference for RBE weighted dose comparison among the cases using different RBE models. Now let's look at RBE of three scales at different survival fraction and depth. At high dose level, for example, survival fraction equals to 0.01. The differences of RBE of three scales are larger than those at low dose level. For example, cell survival fraction equals to 0.3 because the differences of beta values among the three scale method models are larger than the alpha values. And the beta term plays a more important role in high dose level. The difference between nanoscale and macroscale RBE is larger, mainly because more radiobiology mechanisms at nanoscale need to be explored and more experimental results are needed to fit the parameters of cell survival model based on DNA double strand break. In summary, a Chinese male phantom library has been developed, including the whole body phantoms for different gender, different age, a series of detailed organ models, and atomic DNA models. NASIC code is developed to simulate the physical and chemical interaction process and biological effects including DNA damage and repair. Multi-scale computational dosimetry has been performed for various applications including medical health physics and radiation therapy. In the end, RBE values at different position were calculated. In the end, RBE values were calculated where macro, micro, and nanoscale dosimetry methods to evaluate the effect of heavy ion therapy from multi-scale perspectives. That's all. Thank you for your attention.